Azel ISD has always prided itself on a rich history of excellence, a reputation for innovation, and a legacy of tradition. It is the vision of Azel ISD to provide a world-class education to each and every student that walks through our doors. Each one of those students is valued, each one is supported, and each one is cared for because it makes a difference to this one. Azel ISD is on the cutting edge of educational technology and in preparing students to use technology in their post-secondary pursuits. New smart TVs have been incorporated into elementary schools. These televisions are altering the classroom environment and changing the way kids learn. In an effort to infuse technology into the classroom, Azel has gone one-to-one -one with iPads and their students. Elementary classrooms are equipped with a classroom set of iPad tablets, while middle school and high school students are provided each with a district-issued iPad tablet. In 2018, Azel ISD opened two new elementary schools, Walnut Creek Elementary and Azel Elementary. These schools are designed to have a centrally located area known as the Learning or Library Commons which serves as a collaboration area for learning. Every classroom is connected to have some part of the learning commons, therefore having immediate access to the area. The innovative design of these schools is intended to communicate a deeply held belief of the district that learning happens everywhere. Our makerspace is one of our biggest classrooms at Walnut Creek. It's beautiful and it definitely gives us that space for our hands-on learning. The hands-on learning is busy. It's very active. We get to explore a lot like a STEAM class in our upper grades, but for our little guys. Probably my favorite is the robots. I mean, because you get to program and do all that. They kind of just drive around, and if you press a certain button, they'll do whatever. If you don't program them correctly, they won't do it. It's complicated. There's so many possibilities in here. I mean, every day it's something new. You never know. Facilitating a safe environment that maximizes learning is of the utmost importance for Azen ISD. Every school in the district has a security system in place to monitor whoever enters into our schools. All visitors must be approved before entering the building by front office staff. Once visitors are permitted to enter, they must check in with school staff to receive a temporary ID before proceeding into the school. Preparing students for their future careers is a valued priority. The CTE program here at Azel ISD is educating students and giving them hands-on experience to expose them to various career fields. The CTE program offers classes in Auto Tech, Arts and AV, STEM Science, Architecture, Health Science, and many, many others. Azel CTE program is quite unique. In the drone class, we are working through instructional material to position, hopefully, position the robotics students to take and pass their FAA 107 remote pilot certification test. This will enable them to fly drones commercially up to 55 pounds, and industries such as agriculture, real estate, police, fire department, search and rescue, a lot of delivery services, um, tons of applications in the commercial world now for needing drone pilots, trained drone pilots. And so we're hoping to form a pipeline and, and position them to get a job and be able to work or contract independently. Perhaps even more notable is Azel High School's Industrial Refrigeration class. It is the only such program in the entire United States and allows students to receive a certification to become refrigeration technicians. I'm really happy that the other students that I have actually been given this opportunity to learn and to work in an industry that is so expansive and uh, everlasting because people are always going to need refrigeration, they're always going to need food, and to actually earn an industry certification and start getting that hands-on experience in all different aspects of it, working not just in uh, managing uh, these systems, but designing these systems and managing communications and building these systems. Uh, and I really think that it's prepared me for a future, uh, both as a career and to help further my college career. One of Azel ISD's strategic plan goals is to prepare students for their post-secondary pursuits. In the high school, students are offered the opportunity to participate in on-ramps course programs. Just recently, the on-ramps classes have transitioned to using Chromebooks in their classrooms as a primary tool for completing the coursework. 
All right, well, the Chromebooks we use every day, uh, they're pretty essential just because we do need to access Canvas, UT's Canvas course, particularly for statistics, which is what I teach. We use the Chromebooks for their RStudio software, um, which is a light program. It's coding based. It's how they do their data analysis. Um, and we really could not do without them. The college and career prep is not only present in the high school, but at the junior high schools as well. Amy Thompson's science classes are infusing technology into the classroom to achieve higher levels of inquiry and critical analysis. I try to keep everything hands-on, um, and we do lots of labs, 50% labs. We're always doing some kind of inquiry, and they're trying to figure it out first before I explain. Dee Parnell's STEAM classes are using hands-on creative activities to engage students and teach the principles of STEAM. In the STEAM class, we do like building like engineering and we think like what engineers would do to stabilize a building. So today we're building a suspension bridge and I brainstormed, I look at pictures of suspension bridge that actually exists. My main one was the Golden Gate Bridge. Um, that's where I got some of my designs for. Encouraging students to participate in extracurricular activities and clubs is a fundamental area of focus here at Isle ISD and a part of the strategic plan as well. The plan states that the goal is for all students grades 7 to 12 to participate in an extra or co-curricular activity. These types of activities are not limited to high school only, but the junior high schools and the elementary as well. My name is Brinkley and thing, like, the type of coding that we do in Coding Club is easier basic coding where you like, um, you'd like use your finger or your mouse depending on what tool you're using, like a computer or an iPad and you would drag blocks there and you'd try to like move something around or try and um, code, like, um, use the code and try and make something move or make something do a certain command. Um, I'm Addie and running, in Running Club we, we go outside and we're able to run laps around a certain path. I have friends who joined Running Club and just to have them running with me, it, it gives me a really good feeling. Everything we do here at Azel ISD, we do for our students. They are our number one priority because it makes a difference to this one.